in the far northeast of a realm known as the Infinite Dimension, there is a small fortress that goes by the name of Tower Quill. Comfortably nestled in between several human settlements and a rather large settlement of goblins, our dwarves have been hard at work creating the finest brews for all the human visitors and any other local traveling groups. With the low casualty count in the first few years, the dwarves have considered themselves lucky, off to a very good start. Discovering ancient caverns in the deep and keeping their wits about them, our dwarves have been pressing on, doing their best, creating fine artifacts that will be spoken of in legends from great materials gathered from the local plains. Desire to keep their place in history, to be remembered in the legends, spoke about by bards, and written about in books for years and years to come. Our dwarves are ambitious to be remembered among the greats. Many beautiful artifacts have been created in the fortress of Tower Quill, but not all is good. Dwarves have been going missing. Some of them have just drowned in the lake, but there's something more sinister afoot this time. Dwarves have been showing up completely drained of blood. There is a vampire in the fortress, dwarves. We must seek out this scum. Quarantine the fortress. Lock the front gates. Everybody in the tavern. No alcohol until we see who doesn't get thirsty. For those with bloodlust have a different kind of thirst. An undead, evil kind of thirst. Always waiting. Never sleeping. Always starving. Several days passed and the dwarves have been screaming for alcohol but they've been doing all right. Looking to see who's recently felt euphoric due to inebriation. I'm looking for those who can't remember the last time they had alcohol. We might have a suspect here, dwarves. This carpenter cannot remember the last time they drank. We must follow them. Imprison them in a small room next to the tavern. See if they get thirsty and see if the deaths stop. Only one thing can solve this mystery and that is time. We have to wait out the vampire dwarves. Keep an eye on him as he moves around the fort. Until we know for certain. No more deaths and the vampire is in their proper place. Seal off the exit, dwarves. Don't let him escape. It is worth noting that our vampire suspect worships the god of muck. The darkest god in our current realm. And the only worshipper of said god in this fort. It has been ten days time. And our suspect has not yet become thirsty. We have found our vampire. We are extending the size of his holdings to help him keep sane. For the thousands of years he shall be locked down here. And it seems that some may have heard of the news of the blood-sucking fiend. A vile force of darkness has arrived to free our captive. Those green bastards think they can take our vampire. Give them hell, dwarves. Show them what we're made of. Make them enter the tunnel. As gruesome as the fight was, the dwarves were able to make out with minimal casualties, completely wiping out the goblin horde. It is time to celebrate and continue working on a space for our vampire. Be wary, dwarves. We are leaving some equipment for our vampire. Don't let him out. Don't let him touch anyone. And of course he's able to slip right past because he's a vampire. I mean, what on earth are the dwarves thinking at this point? Letting a vampire out into the fortress? <laughs> How silly. The dwarves were doing this with the best intentions, planning to bring our vampire friend some tools so that he could carve out his own area. But instead, they let him run amok. Oh no, we must track him down before somebody else turns up dead. On the bright side, we now know for certain that we have our vampire. Now we just need to figure out exactly what we're going to use it for. What are we going to do with you? Whatever happens, we have the best intentions. Dwarves, we have a powerful weapon. We should use it to our advantage. We shall name you Zaniri. Worshipper of the god of muck. Bloodsucker. <laughs>